Haha! Got it. Welcome back, I'm Max Lamana, and today we're making soup. soup! Soup, baby! We are making a creamy, beanie, springy soup. The first thing that we need to do when making this dish is to make a veg stock. I like making veg stock from scratch, and look what we have here. Some onion scraps, the butts, the ends of an onion, some of the skin, some garlic peelings. This is the base of a veg stock. You never need to go to the supermarket and buy veg stock ever again. Listen up, everyone who's in this room. You never need to buy veg stock ever again, okay? All you need to do is add your veg stock, sorry, your veg scraps, er, scraps, into a pot like this. And the leek, just cut off these bottom bits. We're not gonna eat them, but they have so much flavor. We're gonna go into the pot. Fill this with water. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Onto the stove, heat it up, bring that to a boil, and then we're gonna reduce our heat, let it simmer, and let it cook away. We'll add some other seasonings along the way, and what you're gonna see is that that clear water is gonna turn into a vibrant golden stock in just a few minutes. So, veg stock, free of charge, no more buying veg stock from the supermarket. Make your stock from scratch. Do it. Do it now. Do, do it. Leek. Leeks are the heroes of this dish. I often ask my audience online, I say, what part of foods do you throw away the most? And leeks come back and people are trimming off the tops of the leeks, the green parts. Now, there isn't that much green top to this, to this leek, but we're gonna use the entire leek. So we just chop them up like so, about a quarter, half an inch, quarter inch slice. If you open up your leek, there's sometimes dirt that's left over inside, and that is just from the farm. Nothing to be worried about. We're good here, no dirt. Roughly chop, again, going for that half inch cut. Do you like how I'm looking up at the camera as I cut? Nice, right? I noticed that. Yeah. I know, that, that was a note. Max, we need you to look up when you cut. Got it. There's a lot of leek happening in the soup. And I'm here for it. We're gonna need a bigger bowl. Name that movie. Jaws. We're gonna need a bigger boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. You guys remember that movie? I haven't seen it. Isn't that terrible? I'm embarrassed. The kale. I love this ingredient. Check this out. Boom. You're left with the stem. You're left with the leaf. People chuck this away like that. Actually, what is that? Oh! No! Oh! No! <laughs> no way. He shoots, he, he scores. <laughs> this is all real. This is real. I heard, like, it was like, you know when, like, the, the, the cowboy who, like, spits in a can? It's like, ding! <laughs> that was that moment. So the kale stem is often thrown away. We're not going to waste this. Those are going to get chopped up and sauteed with our leek as well. So this is fun. Exciting content right here. Check this out. Boom, 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 boom. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? A lot of movie references. Where's that from? Gladiator? Uh, Duh. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment break with the kale stem. I'm gonna come back to that in just a bit. Salt and pepper. A generous pinch of salt to our veg stock. Remember that color I was telling you about, that golden color? It's now coming to life. How does it do it? Some black pepper. Now, as that's a rolling boil, I'll just move it over. So we bring this to a low heat, let it cook, let it do its thing. Let's move on. Now we're back. We have our kale stems. Let's thinly slice this as best as we can. Just be careful of your hands, your fingers. Don't want to cut anything. Try to make it all one size as best as you can. We're gonna go th four cloves of garlic? No, I don't like four, let's go five. But use as much garlic as you want, or as little as garlic as you want. The, the trick, the garlic trick. Introducing the garlic trick. If I can find a jar. Oh, here we go. 
Do I have a lid? I think there's a lid in the dishwasher. I saw this guy. Nope. Can't find anything. Ha ha! Got it. Jar. Garlic. Sounds easy, right? Watch this. You guys ready for this? Give it a shake. And the skin should come off like this. Now you have a whole clove of garlic that's perfect. It's not smashed. So when you do cut the garlic, you'll have perfectly thinly sliced garlic. Is that interesting? And would you put that in a stock? You know it. You know it. Into the stock. Let's use it. Why not? Whoa. Golden, right? Yeah. That was just water from the tap. It's just water. From water to stock. Moving on, we use this much loved saucepan. Medium high heat, let that warm up. Let's thinly slice our garlic. <sighs> Satisfying. The reason why I like it this way is because when we cook the garlic, it has that perfect surface space that it can cover when it's cooking. One. Two tablespoons of olive oil, garlic. Just warming up our garlic. Do you like garlic? Uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. That's why I thought, I thought I'd do two cloves and then something told me you should do five in the moment. And so I did five. Unsolicited, you know, information. Moving on, we'll add our leek. Wow, there's a lot of leek in this, and I love that. And kale stems. You guys are going home in soup tonight. Just, just saying. Occasionally stirring. Cook this now 12 to 15 minutes, I would say, until it's nice, soft, translucent, fragrant. Let it do its thing. There's a repeating theme in this, in this recipe. It's about letting the veg do its thing. I'm gonna season this with salt. In a frying pan, we're gonna add about 50 grams of pistachios. And we're just gonna cook them until they're nice and warm and a little bit toasted. So keep an eye on those, you don't want them to burn. I'm gonna preheat the oven to about 200 degrees Celsius and I think that's like four, 400? My math might be off. Around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, let's do the eco setting. Mmm. Toasty. Yeah, these ones, nice and toasty. Oh, hot. Yeah. Now let them just cool at the back of the stove. We'll add some lemon zest. The lemon zest brings that springiness, that life to this kind of warm and grounding soup. Just gives it that, that lift and it's very subtle. Red pepper flakes. Heat, I want some heat in this dish. I want a bit of hotness, hotness. I want a little bit of, I want to feel some spice. I want to feel that I'm alive. Black pepper, stir that around. I'm gonna lower my heat on this cause it is, it's getting there. Once we add the veg stock, it's gonna lift all that delicious goodness at the base of the pan up from down below. Deglazing, that's what it's called, deglazing. Sieve. Oh, did I break this? We're going to sieve our veg stock just over the hot veg. Do you see that color? Wow. You getting that? Yeah. That's natural, all natural. Now, compost. Give that a stir, oh my goodness. <laughs> that's beautiful. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, you can finish out the rest. We're going to decant the bean juice. This is the one thing that we're throwing away, so forgive me. Oh! Bingo, bongo. Peas in the house. I love some peas. You always have some peas. Okay, I think these are cannelli beans. Cannellini. 
I like butter beans. I'm more of a butter bean kind of guy. I hope you are too. Beans. Peas. Oh yeah, springtime soup. Have you seen Seinfeld? No. no soup for you! No soup for you! Adding half the kale. I've turned off the heat, by the way, and I'm just gonna keep this in here. Moving on, we are going now to make our crispy, crunchy kale chips. Let's go. Kale chips, let's make them. Easy, into a bowl. A little bit of olive oil. Yeah, that's enough. Give it a massage. Might wanna ask the kale, if it's had a long day, how's everything going, are you okay? Nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast if you don't know, is deactivated yeast, loaded with B12, and smells quite cheesy, tastes quite cheesy. And now you know. You can give that a light toss. Just making sure that it's covered. Pinchy salty and some black pepper. Why this curly kale in particular? Because it'll lock in all these flavors. And then when it gets crispy, it's just like a layer upon a layer upon a layer of a crunch. Onto a baking tray, we'll add our kale. Spread it out evenly. So we'll have an even bake. Things are about to get crispy. Into the oven it goes. Let's talk about bread, baby. Butter. Don't worry, it's made from plants. Yeah, go thick. I'm not here to judge. You can be naughty. It's not a thing I think people say in, in America, but it's something I've picked up while being here in the UK. Things can be a little naughty. Let's have a little bit of fun, right? Some Goldie, Goldie. Yeah, why not? Goldie, representing Goldie, what's her name? Goldie Fawn? Dawn? Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Yeah. Where is she? She's still around. Okay. Can, she, we get it, can we get her on? I'll try. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you like that? I like that. Okay. And this is a tip from the guy behind the camera right here, the one I'm talking to. Mm. He said the other day, he says, make one side really crispy, on the other side, maybe lightly toasted. So you get a nice crispy crunch on one end and then soft and doughy on the other, but lightly toasted on the other side, right? Yeah, man. I don't think those were your exact words, but I, par I paraphrased. Artistic license. Oh. Off the heat it goes. There's some kale stems that are burnt slightly. Power of the oven. I'll get used to it, but they are, they are crispy. Let's get blendy. Now, we're just gonna try to take as much of the kale leaves as we can. If a bit of the other bits get in, it's totally fine, but try to get as much of the kale as you possibly can. Add some of the veg stock so it can blend easily. A handful of the pistachios and some parsley. Yeah, about that much. Here we go, blend it. This goes back to our soup. If you're wearing a white shirt, be warned. Everybody clap your hands. Nice, right? Beautiful. I think it looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. I'm just gonna plate up a few for the crew. Can I have some more, please? Unfortunately, there's only one piece of bread, so we'll fight for it. Vegan feta. I love this stuff. Add that into the soup. Some crushed up pistachios. Toasted, I might add. Lovely. Now, for the last bit, introduce some crunchy, crispy kale stems to the dish. I'm sure if you just bring this out to your friends and something is lifted off the dish like this, they might be shocked. They might say, what the hell is that? What did you make me? Or they might go, wow. It's a 50-50. Just a little oil just to finish it all off. All right, I'll give you guys some. Lemon zest, why not? We came, we saw, we souped. Wow, this is actually really good. I wasn't, I didn't think it was gonna be this good. Nice, warming, 
springtime soup. Hmm. Who would have thunk it? Oh, the kale chips. Hmm. I can make more of this. This is delicious. Oh, let's try the bread. Oh, I wonder what everyone else is gonna think. I wish the crew would just leave now and I can have the rest of the soup. Thinking about eating the rest of their soup. Do you think they get upset? Maybe. I'll let them try it. You know what? If you're still listening to this, why don't you like and subscribe? Share this video. See you next week. Goodbye.